what I found with the product, even on extremely long hair, mm -hmm. is that it doesn't take a whole lot of product, mm -hmm. especially, oops, especially when you really saturate the hair, you know. Of course, we all see them, so. mm -hmm. That really helps with um, product. Okay. And it's in a squirt. Okay. But what I find that I have to do is do like what I'm doing now. Take the top off and Smells good. Mm-hmm. This is the green leaf. Mm. Ooh, you have nice hands, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone says. I'm like, oh, I love your shampoo. You give the best shampoo. I'm like, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, should I be rubbing my head every day? Yes, you should be showing your scalp some love and getting this blood circulating, to, especially to those thin areas, so that it can promote growth. Okay, so if you all want, you can come fill it. that much. So I think I use probably about a maybe less than a dime size. Okay. And out of that small size, this one? Mm-hmm. The two ounce mm -hmm. shampoo, I've gotten four services out of that one in the bottle. How much how much would your hair use? On my hair I've used like when I really saturate it, because I make sure it's good and wet, mm -hmm. I do two. two. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And I generally do two shampoos. Okay. Mm -hmm. I generally do two shampoos. Um, and so even on mine, like the first first time I may have to use a little bit more. Right. Because I generally try to go with a dime size just to get a gauge right. on how much I'm going to need to use. And then for the second second time, I may use a nipple. Okay. Okay. More. Okay. On the link, yeah. Okay. And also, what you want to know is surfactants. So I think the surfactants is what makes all the bubbles. Mm -hmm. And we've been taught that the bubbles mean that it's clean, and the bubbles have really nothing to do with it. Right. So it doesn't matter that you're not really getting a lot of stuff. What you really want to see is right. I think it's a mental thing, though, with the suds. Right? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the hair is clean and I see suds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've, been, we've all been programmed now, right. you know, that we think bubbles mean clean. That's why they're not giving you a bath, but the bath size is a wonderful way to spend the little studies. Yeah. See, I use the same yeah. amount and got a better, it's, it's more of a lab than that. Gotcha. Honey, you can come fill the product. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be all right. What's the pH of that shelter? Is she using it? Mm-hmm.
and I want to get my clients their natural, but I'm styling them as if they were relaxed. So I'm going to do the twist for the mm-hmm. but they're getting the curls and the light weight flow. You wouldn't know because they're yeah. not mm-hmm. And I know that when they go home, they're using products and they come with weight in their hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I need to go in with an acidic or a clarifying exactly. shampoo. Yeah. Right. Right. So that feels yeah. very this will be it. And come feel it now. Soft yeah. Instead of rough. Rough. Like yeah, come feel the hair now. Shampoo. And you can feel how squeaky clean yeah. it feels. And it still doesn't and feel like and all it's the not hard. Right. Yeah, I like that. And you see the curl pattern? Yeah, curl pattern. See the curl pattern, and that's mm-hmm. just with the shampoo. And mm-hmm. this is um, I'm teaching a class in February, so I would like to uh, okay. mm-hmm. use that. Mm-hmm. This is a natural, natural display. Okay, so sit up for me. We don't put your condition on. You look like I have a mama now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk out this house and act like you don't have a mama. Are you embarrassing me? Yes, ma'am. And so what I'm going to use now is the citrus conditioner. And the pump, you it, it really works well with the uh, uh, portion control. Yo, lady, you are so fabulous. <laughs> Um, generally, I m- work it through. I don't put them under the dryer with just a general conditioner. Mm-hmm. I work it through for about maybe three to five, mm-hmm. and I'll comb it. I'll detangle it, mm-hmm. you know, right there at the bowl. Right. Mm-hmm. So I can express basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't, as you, you can come feel it, it doesn't take a lot of the product. On my hair, mm-hmm. I will probably use about a quarter. Yeah, and on long this. hair, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I work it from the bottom up. You know, and then I go through and I detangle. So when I'm doing my lukewarm rinse, right. you know, oh man, you shine on the hair. Oh right. my God, I can't wait. Y'all. I'm learning that when we as stylists, what we do, we don't we don't extract enough water mm-hmm. from the hair when we're transitioning from shampoo to conditioning. Because mm-hmm. that's very important. Shampoo cool. conditioning is such a foundation for everything. Right, and it I'm is. I'm learning that you have to extract a lot of the water before you put on conditioner. Because mm-hmm. then the conditioner just sits on top of the hair, hair and it doesn't function. Right. And then you're using more and more product. product right. So towel dry the hair really good then. Mm-hmm. 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 M
Are there any questions?